Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video about a few things that have been happening in the house. A couple of things happened yesterday, some stuff happened today, like literally just now, and I want to do a quick little update video about it. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so yesterday, this bitch. Okay, if you are keeping up with the updates and news of the goings on in the house, then you know that Victor is HOH. You know that he put uh, James and Natalie up. And then you also should know that Coco won the power of veto. So there's the stats for right now, okay? Well, the past, ever since nominations, James and Natalie. Even a little bit before, but James and Natalie, after nominations, they've kind of, like, just given up. I think James has just accepted the fact that he's most likely leaving, or at least he thinks so. I don't, like, as of now, I think that it's Natalie going, but I can't be 100%, like, sure about that. <clears throat> Anyways, so, they've kind of given up. They just kind of accepted it. Like, it is what it is. What more can they do? Um... James has, like, before the power of veto, James was talking about, like, if he won the POV, then he was going to use it on Natalie, and, you know, if he didn't, then he was going to try to convince whoever did to use it on Natalie. Basically, he was trying to save Natalie's ass because he, well, because she made him feel like shit, and he also felt like shit on his own because he feels like he brought them and put them in the situation that they're in. Which he kind of did. I mean, her and Meech both said that they should keep Victor and vote Corey out the, the week that Victor and Corey were on the block. But James, being the vet and blah, 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 he wasn't into that and convinced them to stick with the plan of getting rid of Victor and then the rest is history. <laughs> so it kind of was his fault a little bit. I mean, we all have to admit that James has been playing a shitty game. He's not been playing a very good game. He's not been playing like a vet. He's been playing like a damn rookie. And it's been frustrating all season. However, Natalie, you've been saying your entire time in the show, on the game, whatever, you've been saying that you are your own person. So why is it that when you went up to the HOH room yesterday to go plead with, you know, and apologize, apologize to Victor and Paul for backstabbing them, why is it that you were throwing James under the bus saying that your mistake was putting all your trust in somebody, that you were listening to the wrong people or person, that, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's, she was basically implying that it wasn't her fault that they, that Victor got evicted that one, that one week and that the whole backstabbing thing, it was pretty much by James's hands, which it kind of was, but this whole season, she's been preaching how much she cares about him, how much she wants to be with him, or she likes him, whatever, and it was this whole thing, and then she goes upstairs and throws him under the bus, so even Paul and Victor, when she left, Paul and Victor were like, wow, that bitch, that was rude, that was not cool, she threw his ass way under, that's fucked up, and everybody in the chat, in the feeds chat was saying the exact same thing, because it was fucked up, you could definitely find it online, or like on YouTube, you can find the clip, but yeah, so that bitch did that, and the whole time, and it was really funny too, because she walked into the HOH room like, Victor, I was just wondering, do you have any more orange juice? He's like, yeah, but in their mind, they knew that they were like, oh my god, this bitch. Like, why? why? I hate it when people do that. Just go in there and be like, yo, Vic, me, Paul, fam, we need to have a talk. Let's chat. Instead, she was like, can I have your orange juice? And then as she was opening the little HOH fridge, she was like, so I just wanted to apologize for backstabbing you guys, and I'm really sorry. I was watching it, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, why can't you just go the fuck in there, be up front, be like, yo, bitch, we need to talk. Instead of using the whole, oh, can I have your orange juice? No, bitch, you can't have my orange juice. That's my orange juice. Orange juice is fucking delicious. Don't go drink in my last carton. But he said that she could, so she did. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not that generous, so. 
I told I would have told her happy ass to go the fuck downstairs. There's two fridges downstairs. If there's no orange juice, that's not his problem. But that's just me. That's just because I'm selfish. So <laughs> unless we're like this, you ain't getting my shit. So if I was H O H, you're not getting any of my O J. You're not getting any of my beef jerky. That's for sure. You're definitely not getting any of my chips. Cause no, none of my kettle corn. And you're not listening to my music. I'm not feeding you. Or entertaining you. Like, what? Unless you're in my alliance. This isn't no charity. I'm not going to feed your ass. Ugh, anyways, besides the point. So she walked out of the HOH room. And Paul and Victor were like, wow, this bitch. Like, I can't. And that's what we were all thinking, too. Um, and then, you know, a couple hours go by. And it's nighttime. And, <laughs> and this fucking bitch... She told James that if she were to get evicted and she found out that he talked to Nicole or Corey, that he conversated with them or started to play his game with them, that she wouldn't talk to him ever again. Oh. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I didn't know you were Jesus, Natalie. I didn't know you can command people. Oh, I'm never going to talk to you again. Good. And? That's what I would have said to him. I'm like, if that's all, if that's all it took to not have to hear your happy ass whining about your weight and all this other bullshit, then I would have done that shit a long ass time ago. I would have been kicking it with Nicole and Coco in their corner bed the entire season if I was in that damn house. Damn it. All that's all it takes. Good. Easy preasy, whatever it's called. Would have been done in a millisecond. That's for sure. Cause I couldn't live with her. I couldn't do it. I'd end up in jail. She's just so annoying. Like, maybe for, like, five minutes, but then she'd start whining about her weight, which is whatever. I kind of do the same, too. But not even to the extent that she does. Like, she gets crazy. And she just complains about everything all the time. And it's just so annoying. And if I were James and she said that to me, I would have said bye. Like, really? You're going to say that kind of shit to me? Joking, not joking, angry, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I know that we all say things when we're mad, but I don't give a shit. You don't say that. This is a fucking game. 500 Gs are in, on, the, on the line here, and you're going to try to threaten him? That was a threat. She said, if I ever find out that you are talking to them or you work with them, I'm never going to talk to you again. Well, us fans and viewers and live feeders, we don't think you're going to talk to him anyways outside of the house. So there's that part. Anyway, so she said that bullshit, and that, like, irked him, which is understandable. And so just now, like, legitimately an hour ago has gone by, and they just had, like, a pretty decent fight. It was kind of funny. It was, no, it was definitely funny. It was really interesting and comical to watch. Uh, so Natalie was sun tanning, and Victor and Paul, they were out over on the couch, like, in what used to be the smoker's corner, which, side note, I kind of wish that there were smokers on this season, because a lot of gameplay happens in the, in the smoker's corner, and, I don't know, it, a lot of, a lot of interesting things have happened past seasons in that smoking corner, and the fact that there isn't anyone, anything happening over there, I, I, I kind of feel gypped. But whatever, it is what it is. Anyway, so they were over there, and she was in there, and then she went inside, and she woke James up or whatever, and she brought him out with him, and then James was talking, he was like, look, like, last night at, like, 3 or 4 a.m., you know, you were sleeping, and you kicked your leg onto my leg, and he was like, yeah, and then, so I put my hand on your hand, and I, and, like, you hit it off, so basically, like, she kicked her leg onto his leg, it was, like, kind of, like, you know, eh, eh, like a koala bear, well, he reciprocated that with just, you know, putting his hand on her leg that was draped over him. And she just went like, bitch, don't. Stop it. Move. You know, hit his hand away like an asshole. And <laughs> he was like, that really pissed me off. And he just kind of left it at And she was like, oh my god, really? Really, James? Wow. I woke up in a good mood this morning. Wow, I can't believe, I, I was sleeping, okay, I don't know what I do when I'm sleeping, sorry, I don't want to be touched while I'm sleeping, jeez, well, bitch, you touched him, and, like, really, and it was kind of stupid for him to be mad about, because I do shit too when I'm sleeping that I don't really know, 
but I don't really think she was sleeping. I think she did hit his hand off and was, like, legitimate about it, but that's just my suspicion. Anyways, so, like I said, I do stuff too, like, when I'm sleeping sometimes, I'll wake myself up laughing. My boyfriend tells me I do that shit all the time. My boyfriend does stuff too when he's sleeping, like the other day. No, a couple weeks ago, he yelled at me about a ladder we don't have while he was sleeping, and I was watching TV, and I was like, bitch, we don't even have a ladder. Why are you yelling at me? This is stupid. And he's like, you, you told me that you wouldn't hide the ladder anymore. We don't have a fucking ladder. <sighs> Anyways, moving on from that. So he told, he, like, he was just kind of like, you know, vent, not venting, but basically just talking, and he was like, yeah, it kind of hurt my feelings. And she just kind of went off, and it was just super stupid. And then there came a point where she was like, you know what, maybe we should just be friends then. Oh, and then she tried to say, she's like, you know, I was campaigning for you to stay earlier, so no, you were not. Maybe last night, but today, no, you were not. And that's what she was implying, that she did that shit today, and I was watching, she didn't. So, they kind of broke up for like a millisecond. James ran away. Well, they didn't run away, but he walked away because he was annoyed, which is understandable. It's like this fucking bitch. She's the only one that can get mad at anything. She's the only one whose feelings can be hurt. She's the only one that can cry. She's the only one that can be mad. And James is never allowed to feel anything. He's never allowed to do anything. Nobody is. It's all about her and Natalie's world and her emotions and how she feels and how you hurt my feelings. Like, really, stop. I can't with girls and their feelings. It's like, it's like, grab Natalie a life vest because she is drowning in her feels right now, and it's super stupid. So, he walked away. They had, like, a no speaking because she stayed outside. They were, like, separated for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and then she went inside. She's like, really, are we going to fight on our last week together? Your last week together? Most likely, you're going to be leaving next week, too, so you'll be in the jury house together. So, no, it would not be your last week together. And on top of that, really, you have been talking about hanging out outside the show, seeing where their relationship goes. So, no, it, it would not be your last time together. I understand the whole, like, not wanting to leave, like, on a bad note, but, no, it, it wouldn't be your last week together. No, it wouldn't, for sure, because I doubt she's making it to final two, so... And I doubt he is either, because he's stupid. But yeah, that shit literally just happened. It That shit literally just happened. It was really funny and entertaining. We were all, like, just laughing our asses off in the feed chat. Because it was just so stupid. Like, she legitimately said, maybe we should just be friends. So, I mean, I know that there's a lot of people out in the world... Like, Big Brother fans who think that her feelings for him are genuine and all that. But her actions the past couple of days, not to mention her actions from the past couple of months. Let's forget about that and just focus on the, the recent shit she's done. It, it proves otherwise. I do not think that she is genuine in her feelings. I do not think that she has any intentions of furthering... Look at how cute Chip is. Oh, he's so cute. Hi. Yeah, come here, come here, boy. I do not think that she has any intentions of, you know, hanging out with him or seeing whether how the relationship blossoms outside of the house. I think that she is using him, and it's kind of sad to see because I think that he genuinely likes her. But, and at the same time, though, he's not there to have a showmance, or, well, maybe he is, I don't know, it seems like that's his... Him and Nicole it seems like their main goals, but I know that if I were on the show, especially if I had a daughter, I wouldn't be there for no damn showmance. Are you fucking joking? And I definitely wouldn't be playing just for the America's Favorite Player, even though we know that's exactly what he's doing. And I definitely wouldn't be jumping off a damn competition that is going to enter me back in the house day. Seven minutes in and you're going to jump off that fucking wall, Really? You're there to play a game for your daughter. James, you're there to play a game for your daughter. Play the fucking game for your daughters. You would, they would, I would have had to be bleeding to jump off that damn thing. And even then, I probably, I don't know. But then again, at the same time, none of us are in the house. We don't know how it really is. I know. And we're not in the competitions. We're seeing things outside, looking in. So maybe it's a whole, maybe it's so much harder doing it. Who knows? 
hopefully one day one of us fans will know, but I highly doubt it because there's so many people wanting to be on the show. But it may be harder than it looks. We don't know. So we got to keep that in mind when we talk about their gameplay and the things that they do. So I just want to do a quick video about all that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.